Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on adding and subtracting unlike fractions. So we need to find each sum and write in simplest form. One of the basic rules when adding and subtracting fractions is that we need common denominators. And so if we have 3 fourths plus 1 seventh, we need to get these fractions so that the denominators are the same. Well, if you think, what are common multiples of 4 and 7, when we first start with fractions, sometimes we need to list them out, like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and it can be helpful, 7, 14, 21, 28, and of course 28 is what we have in common, and so the denominators we're going to make into 20 eighths. Now, 4 times 7 was 28, and 3 times 7 is going to be 21. 7 times 4 was equal to 28, and 1 times 4 is going to be equal to 4. And now we're adding 21 28 to 4 28 and we 21 plus 4 is 25, and we're keeping the common denominator of 28. This cannot be simplified any further, so 25 28 is our solution. Now in example 2a and b, find each sum right in simplest form. We'll have our 5 sixths plus our negative 3 tenths. Now for this, I'm going to attach the negatives to the numerators. Now the lowest common denominator, the more you do these, the easier they will become, truly. Our lowest common denominator, if you think of the multiples of 6 and the multiples of 10, is 30. And so then we ask ourselves, 6 times what is 30? Well, 5. And 5 times 5 is going to get us 25. Likewise, for the 10, 10 times 3 was 30. Negative 3 times 3 is going to be negative 9. And now that we're adding these, we'll keep our denominator of 30 and 25 plus negative 9 is equal to a positive 16. Now we want to write our answer in simplest form, so we're going to take our 16 thirtieths and divide by 2 on the top and the bottom to get 8 fifteenths. I cannot simplify any further, and so 8 fifteenths is my final answer. What about 2 and 1 eighth plus negative 3 and 2 thirds? Now, with this, again, a couple of different strategies like we did when we were adding and subtracting like fractions, but since I have this negative involved, it may be easier to turn both of these into improper fractions. So 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17 eighths, plus 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11 thirds. But that's a negative, so it'll be a negative 11 thirds. Now, our lowest common denominator for 8 and 3 is 24. Three times eight is 24. Negative 11 times eight, negative 88. Eight times three is 24. 17 times three, 51. Now that I have the common denominator of 24 and I fixed my numerators, 51 plus a negative 88 is negative 37 over that 24. And we can work to get this into a mixed number as well by putting our 37 on the inside, 24 on the outside, goes in once, subtract the 24, and we get 13. So negative 37 24 is also equal to negative 1 and 13 24. And that is our sum for this question. 
Example 3 is asking us to find the difference right in simplest form. So in question A, we have 9 sixteenths minus 5 eighths. Well, our common denominator here is actually just 16. So we can keep the 9 sixteenths for the 5 eighths, multiply by 2 on the top and the bottom, and we get 10. Now we do need to be careful. This question, if we were to rewrite it horizontally, is 9 sixteenths minus 10 sixteenths. Of course, that's different than 10 minus 9. It's 9 minus 10. Just like with integers where we kind of keep change opposite, you can do the same thing here. We have a 9 sixteenths plus the opposite of a positive 10 is a negative 10 sixteenths. And 9 plus negative 10 is negative 1 sixteenth. So we do have to be careful here when we're dealing with these positives and negatives. What about B? 4 and 2 thirds minus 3 six sevenths. Let's change these into improper fractions. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14 thirds, and this is going to be minus 3 times 7 is 21, plus 6, 27 sevenths. Now we do need to get common denominators, and our lowest common denominator here is going to be 21. 3 times 7 was 21, and 14 times 7 is going to be 98. 7 times 3 was 21. 27 times 3 is 81. And so now that we have common denominators, we can take our 98 minus our 81 to get 17 over 21. And that's our answer, 17 21sts. Now it is also possible to solve this question keeping these as mixed numbers. We can solve 4 and 2 thirds minus 3 and 6 sevenths. But we do need to be careful because as we solve this, this is going to equal the 4 and it will be over 21 still. This is going to equal minus 3 and still over 21. 3 times 7 was 21. 2 times 7 is 14. 7 times 3, 21. 6 times 3 is 18. And now we get into a bit of a tricky situation because 14 minus 18 is going to result in a negative number. And so what we need to do if we're using mixed numbers is to borrow. We want to borrow a whole unit away from this 4 and that becomes a 3. Well, a whole unit in this case is adding 21 over 21. So what this problem really becomes is 3 and 35 21sts minus 3 and 18 21sts. Well, 35 minus 18 is 17 21st, and 3 minus 3 is 0, so 17 21sts. So if you're going to subtract with mixed numbers, you may need to borrow. If you went with the improper fraction way, you don't. Choice is yours. Yong jogged three days this week for a total of 11 and 17 20th miles. If she jogged three and one half miles one day and four and one fourth miles another, how many miles did she jog on the third day? Well, basically, if we kind of set up an equation here, three and one half the first day plus four and one fourth the second day plus whatever she did on the third day, it could be x, is going to equal 11 in 17 twentieths. All right, let's combine like terms here. We need to have common denominators, and our common denominator is going to be fourths, for the right or left side of the equation at least. 
And so 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. So I can simplify this into 7 and 3 fourths plus x is going to equal 11 and 17 twentieths. Well, I need to subtract 7 and 3 fourths from both sides to find my x. But my common denominator here for 4 and 20 is actually 20. Well, 4 times 5 got me 20. 3 times 5 is going to get me 15. And now I can subtract. 17 minus 15 is 2 over 20. 11 minus 7 is 4. If I divide by 2 on top and bottom, I get 4 and 1 tenth miles for that third and final day. That is it for this lesson on adding and subtracting unlike fractions. Good luck!